Three of the most common mistakes that we do while practicing Brahmari. First one, exhaling and then chanting Brahmari. This is one of the most common beginner mistakes where we take that deep breath in, we exhale and then we chant Brahmari. In this case, you won't be able to chant Brahmari longer because you have already exhaled that air. So the right way is to chant Brahmari for that whole length of exhalation. So you take that deep breath in and then at the end of inhalation itself, you will start chanting Brahmari. Remember, your Brahmari chanting itself is your exhalation. You don't have to exhale separately. Second, extending that breath or humming way beyond your capacity, like until you feel breathless. This is neither healthy nor correct. In fact, it will take away the benefit and the very joy of Brahmari practice. Third mistake we do is while practicing Brahmari with Shanmukhi Mudra. Many teachers give the instruction to press the middle finger against the nostrils, which is like closing the nostril. And when we do that, we are kind of restricting the breath flow at the vocal cord. No humming will be possible in that case. So the right way is to simply place your fingertips on the nostrils or better yet, just practice the simplest version of Shanmukhi Mudra.